Hi, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to work out ratio and proportion questions. Ratio and proportion questions, they are quite popular in the exam, especially if they are very popular with the GCSE level exams, key stage three, key stage two, and 11 plus exam as well. So uh, I'm just gonna explain to you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, press the subscribe button. So whenever I upload new videos, you will be notified about them. And also please remember to press the bell button as well. So now I'm going to do this first uh, question, as you can see, uh, uh, it's a ratio and proportion question. It says, Tony can make 14 cakes in six hours. How many cakes can he make in 15 hours, right? So 14 cakes, Tony can make in uh, six hours. So we can write like cakes here. cakes and hours here. There are a couple of ways to do this question, but this is the method which I believe is a bit easier for students to understand. So we can write hours here, uh, cakes here and hours here. So Tony can make how many? 14. 14 cakes in how, how much time? In six hours. And now the question is that how many he can make in 15 hours. You see, on the uh, on the hour side, we will write how many? 15. And how many uh, cakes uh, Tony can make? We don't know. So what we do, we just write X here. So now, as you can see, obviously there's a ratio. So what it means, we can multiply them. We have to find the value of X, so we can cross multiply them. So if we time six with X, it becomes six X. Remember we have to find X because that is the unknown. That is the thing which we have to find out. So if you type uh, times 15 with 14, so we get 210. 14 times 15, you see we are cross multiplying them. So 14 times 15, it is 210. So X is equal to, because we have to find X, so uh, it means we have to leave X at its own here. We don't need uh, anything else with the X. So X is equal to 210 divided by six, because when you move six on this side, so it will be, so we can, uh, once we divide uh, 210 by six, we get 35. So how many cakes can be made? 35 cakes. So your, our answer will be 35. So we can, 35 ca cakes can be made in 15 hours, right? Now I'm going to do one more question just to see, just to make sure you understand this topic. As, a, as you can see here, the length and the width of a small rectangle is nine inches and um, uh, eight inches respectively. So you see, uh, we can write here of a small rectangle. So we can write S here, S means small, and uh, the length of large, you see there's a large rectangle as well. So I'm going to write L here, which means large rectangle. So the length and the width of a small rectangle is nine and eight. You see nine is coming first, so it means it's length. So length is nine. And the width of the small one is Eight. So we can write like this, right? So nine over eight because the length and the width of a, a small rectangle is nine over eight. And we have to find, uh, uh, the, the question is if the length and the width of two, okay, the, the length of the large rectangle, you see large rectangle and the length is 24. Then we can put line. And if the length and the width, uh, if the length of the lie rectangle is 24 inches, if the length and the width of two rectangles have the same ratio, what is the width of the large rectangle? So we have to find W width. So what we can do is we can put W X here, right? Again, I'm telling you there are a couple of other methods as well to do these questions, but we can, uh, uh, this is the easiest one. So what we do, we can put, we can cross multiply them now. So we times L uh, nine with X. So when you time nine with X, it becomes nine X is equal to 24 times X. 
So when we time 24 with eight, we get 198. Sorry, 192. Because 24 times eight is 192. Now we have to find X because X is the one which is the width of the large rectangle. So in order to, I'm just uh, to do this, we, what we do, we can do X is equal to, we can move nine on the other side, 192 divided by nine. So when you divide 192 by nine, your answer will be 21.3 X. So this will be the length of the, uh, 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 this will be the width of the large rectangle. Now I'm going to do one more question. So just to make sure you know, you understand this topic really well. As you can see here, this is question here. It says the ratio of a ni nickels, dimes and quarters in a cup is three, four and seven. You see, what is the ratio? Three ratio, four ratio, seven. So remember, because they are in the same sequence, so nickels, dimes and quarters. So first one is three, so it will be N, which is nickel. Then dimes is this one, D. And uh, uh, quarters is here. So we can write Q here. If there are total 112, you see they are saying total, if for example, if you total them, it is 112. It's not the total of this one. Uh, this is the total, total number of coins in the cup is 112. How many of them are nickels? So what we do, we add all of them, three plus four plus seven. So this is the method. Remember, we add all the ratios, three plus four plus seven. When we add them, we get 14, right? So uh, then what we do, we divide uh, for, uh, 14, uh, 110, uh, sorry, 112 by 14, right? So once we divide 112 uh, by 14, so we get, I'm just gonna work it out, 112 divided by 14, we get eight. So this will be eight. So now it means this is for one, right? This we have worked out the one. So in there, because there are three nickels, so it will be eight times three. So eight times three is 24. You see, there are three nickels. So we times this eight, which was the, our answer. We times it by three. And for example, if they ask you to work out how many uh, uh, dimes are there, because there are four uh, in the ratio, there are four. So what we do, we times eight with four. So that will be 32. And then we, uh, and if they say, what is eight times seven? Eight times seven is 56. So it will be 56. So this will be the ratio of all of them. If there are 112 coins in the, so how many nickel will be there? There will be 24 nickel. Uh, there will be, uh, there will be 24 nickels. There will be this one and, and uh, there will be dimes, how many? 32, we can write B here. And there will be Q here. Q means quarters, right? So hope you understand it and uh, I will see you in the next video. And thank you very much for watching this video. So please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Okay, bye.